three well, years. Well, there's, there's, there's nothing there. like playing in the NCAA tournament other than advancing in the NCAA tournament. So we're – we feel blessed, um, a great opportunity for our kids, well-deserved. You know, they've worked extremely hard, and I thought they play, had a gutsy performance tonight. Uh, you can almost say there were a lot of plays in this game that almost told a season's worth of plays for, for your guys. I mean, yeah. you Cooper, who, you know, hit some big shots. Like, first of all, with, for, with that, talk about that three-pointer he made at the shot clock buzzer. Well, he, 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 he's got a flair for the dramatic. He always has. And on the big stage, he's – that he relishes that opportunity. You don't coach a lot of guys that, that do that, uh, that have that mindset. You know, the bigger the game, the bigger the stage, the better he is. He has that knack. And, you know, we're fortunate that he, uh, he's on our bus. Yeah, and then keeping with that same theme, off it, a lot of tough calls tonight go against him. But then there with four fouls, takes that charge at the uh, end, which is huge. He, 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 people have no idea what that kid's done for our program from the standpoint of culture, from the standpoint of toughness, from the standpoint of he's the identity of our defense, from his leader to the intangibles that he brings to the table. I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, he, he, we wouldn't be here without him. I mean, he's, he's, he's the best. I've had some really good leaders. I have. I've been blessed. A lot of the former guys were here tonight watching the game, and I appreciate them coming out. But he's as good a leader as we've had since I've been here. And then uh, the bench mob, as you guys call it, is so big for you guys. We kind of touched on TJ having such a, a good tournament last night. But yeah. Keeley tonight with that big rebound there at the very end, and coming down and yeah. two free throws. Yeah, I mean, he, was, how big that was. he was huge. I mean, uh, I knew he was going to play well in Cleveland, you know, because we went to Kent not too long ago, and he had a lot of people there, and he didn't play very well. One of his worst games of the year. So I told the staff, I said, you watch, he's going to play really well in Cleveland, and he did. I thought he was really efficient. Uh, he gives us a physical presence, and, you know, I'm biased, but I, I think he's the best six man in our league, you know, and, and obviously he's, he's, he plays starters minutes. I'm really fortunate because really I've got Smitty and Baltic and, and Reggie. I mean, I could start two of those three any night if I wanted. And uh, we're fortunate to have that type of depth. You've talked about how blessed you are with this team, a lot of leaders in this team, and they always seem to take the right approach, mindset, get one game at a time. But did you get the feeling going into this year that it could be a special year, an NCAA tournament type year? I thought we could be really good. I did. Uh, I thought if we bought into the defending, I thought we could be really good, and I give our kids a lot of credit. We started talking about it last spring. We weren't very happy with our defensive numbers the first three years, and we needed more of an identity there. And I thought for this particular team that defense was going to be critical, and uh, the kids bought in. You know, we finished. You know, whatever we were, 33rd in the country defensively coming into the tournament, and it's only fitting tonight. You know that we we got an eight-point lead. They make a few plays, and now we got to rely on our defense to win it. Um, it was almost like that was meant to be. Do you have any, uh, I guess, last-minute pleas of the selection committee about seating and where you'd want to be? Or no, like we'll trust their judgment on that. They've, they've always got a good crew there, and, and uh, they dissect all those numbers. And, you know, we're, uh, wherever they tell us to go, we'll go. And whoever they tell us to play, we'll prepare the best of our ability to be ready to play. Last one. Can you talk about John Smith's ability to play physically with Zeke and block him three or four times tonight? Yeah, it, it was funny because in the first half, I kept telling the staff every time Smitty blocked the shot, they picked it up and laid it in. Uh, and then the second half, he had a couple more where he was his, used his length and blocked some balls. And, you know, he, he, he's, he's, uh, he's another one of those guys, a lot like Offit, that the stat sheet doesn't tell the whole deal with Smitty. He's so good defensively, communicates so well, sees things. He's a high IQ guy, and he covers up. Uh, I tell him all the time, you cover up a multitude of our sins on, on defense. And, and uh, he's a big part of our defense for sure.